So we're in the pantry and I need to get two quarts of some chicken broth. Now, I'm really learning to be more organized and when you do a lot of canning like this, it's really hard to keep everything organized right. But if I remember, the oldest of my broth is way down in that cupboard over there. So I'm going to get two quarts of some chicken broth. Hey everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today's Cheat Meal Monday and I'm going to make something from my pantry. A lot of you have talked about these mixes and I bought a bunch of them about a year ago and they were 50 cents and these would be great for camping or great for having in your food storage pantry and I'm going to make this today because I have a big day outside today and I'm going to share with you another project that I'm working on in the kitchen. So let's get started in making these. They're very delicious. In fact, I'm going to make a double portion of it to feed my girls when they come tomorrow after our thrift store run. So let's get started. If you find these at the Dollar Tree, I hope you give it a try because it's a really good Dollar Tree meal. I'm not going to really tell you the directions on how to do it because you have to have the package. But here we start. So what I have is my potatoes that came to me for free from the food pantry. And I'm going to add my water. Two quarts of broth that is home canned. And then we're going to just add the package. It is amazing. Now all we need to do is add two cups of heavy cream right before we're ready to eat it. So we're going to stir all of this in, we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to cook it until our potatoes are nice and soft. So I'll get back to you in just a few moments and we'll put the heavy whipping cream in and then it will be time to eat. I'm going to share with you the project that I'm working on the rest of the day. It involves one of these, one of these one of these. This is a great project and it is so much fun. Many years ago a friend of mine was moving and she gave me her collection of a bottle capping machine and the bottles. And I washed the bottles and sterilized them and today I'm going to show you what we're going to be capping. As you know I like having a full pantry. I like having a prepper's pantry. So I try to think outside the box and so many of you are so inspired by all the different things that I do from canning lemon juice to canning shortening to bottling molasses. I didn't realize that molasses has a shelf life. I had a bottle of molasses and guess what? It fermented. But when you bottle them and you cap them it can last you for just about indefinitely. So this is how I bottle my molasses. Vacuum seal your molasses because Let's face it, not everybody has a bottle capping machine and a lot of you probably never heard of it. So what I'm going to do is, we are going to have three bottles going at one time. As you know, molasses is really slow. One thing I learned about the molasses is when you pour it in, you want to make sure that you don't fill it the whole way to the top. We'll see in a moment the reason why not. These bottle capping machines were made for people that make beer and all kinds of things but I don't drink so I think outside the box so all we do is we're going to pour the molasses into these bottles Now I saved up my money last winter and I've been waiting this whole time to work on this molasses. 
This jug of molasses only cost me $17 and that includes shipping. If you have Amazon Prime, you could get it for a lot cheaper. So let's talk a little bit about molasses. Molasses, black strap molasses is actually extremely good for you. It has a high iron content, gives you lots of energy. One tablespoon of the molasses in a cup of milk each day can really, really help boost your energy level. If you're a diabetic, you want to consult your doctor, of course. But if you're healthy with no medications, molasses is a great way to get iron into your body and also give you vital and also give you vital minerals and nutrition. We're back. So this is how we are going to cap this blackstrap molasses. This is so much fun. I enjoy doing this. I'm like a kid in the candy shop. So what we do is we go. And we just go, hold it with our hand and go back. And there it's capped. Oh, how fun is that? So I wiped off my bottle rims and made sure everything was clean. You don't even need to have a lot of strength to do it. You just cap it like that. And it's capped good. Just another thing you can put in your pantry. But like I said before, I'm sure most of you don't have one of these. You can actually get them online, fairly cheap. But you can always just vacuum seal your molasses. But you want to make sure you do vacuum seal it. Because I had molasses in a jar, not vacuum sealed, and it actually got very, very fermented. Lovely soup is finished. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add two cups of heavy whipping cream. So we're going to add that really, really slowly. And this is what's going to give that beautiful creamy white look. If you can find these packs in the store, I would buy a couple. They have all different kinds of soups. Of course, I do have a video of making homemade potato soup that is strictly from scratch. That is an easy way as well, but it's really nice to have one of these packets in your pantry in case you want to make some soup really quick. Take a look at that. You could also add some corn to it and make it corn chowder. So let's get a bowl of it and sit down at the kitchen table and we'll see how it tastes. People ask why I don't use salt and pepper when I'm cooking. This is just the way that I was brought up. We had our seasoning at the table and we all added our own salt and pepper to it. Have a little piece of crusty bread that I make. I have to admit this one is my favorite. It's so good. Good to stock up on. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. From Fanny's Diary, we are on June the 10th, 1943. And Fanny writes, I canned some sugar peas for myself and strawberries for Grandma not. We planted tobacco at David Potter's and had a funeral to go in the evening. And who is this little boy? Well, this is Jump Off A. A lot of people wondered what Jump Off A looked like and he sent me this photo to share with you all. So this, my friends, is Jump Off A, but it's when he was three years old. There you go. You're never going to know what you're going to find on my videos. I try to find videos that are very different and unique. And I hope you enjoyed an old-fashioned way to bottle some molasses. I'm going to be making all kinds of other things with my bottle capper. I can't wait to share with you some of my more unusual ideas. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.